in a recent court filing, a U.S. law firm that had uh, previously offered services to FTX uh, refutes allegations of assisting Sam Bankman Fried in his alleged fraudulent activities. Uh, a law firm that previously provided services to the now defunct cryptocurrency exchange FTX has refuted a class action lawsuit brought against them claiming that it assisted in the exchange's alleged attorney assistance. See, right now, uh, our $2 million, according to uh, September 21 court filing, Fenwick and West, a United States law firm, denies all accusations of misconduct related to the provision of legal services during FTX of the next stake. The plaintiffs contend that while Fenwick provided regular legal services within the bounds of the law, Sam Bankman Fried allegedly misused the advice to advance his fraudulent activities. Uh, they further argued that Fenwick uh, exceeded the norm in, uh, in its service offerings to FTX. Uh, plaintiffs allege that Fenwick can nevertheless be held liable because Fenwick purportedly provided services to the FTX group, uh, entities that uh, went well beyond those a law firm uh, should usually does provide uh, 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 the filing noted uh, that it was further claimed that employees of Fenwick chose to depart from the firm and join FTX voluntarily. Additionally, the filing reiterated that Fenwick assisted in establishing corporations used by Bankman Fred in his fraud and advised FTX on regulatory compliance in the evolving crypto landscape. However, Fenwick argued that it should not bear liability as it was not the sole law firm representing FTX. It asserts that it played a relatively minor role in providing various aspects of legal advice to the bankrupt exchange. Uh, uh, this comes after the FTX debtors filed a lawsuit against former uh, employees of the Hong Kong incorporated company Salomony, which was previously affiliated with the FTX group. FTX initiated legal action to reclaim $157.3 million, alleging that the funds were illicitly withdrawn shortly before the exchange's bankruptcy filing.